Hello viewers, for DIYers here with another video for everyone. In this video here, I'll be showing you how to fix uneven brake wear. Uneven brake wear means there are components in your braking system that is not functioning correctly. This is typically caused by dirty or rusty components, but can also be caused by parts not being installed correctly. The outer brake pad could be stuck in the contact position, not allowing it to release the braking pressure, causing the pad to drag. This can cause excessive heat buildup, warping the rotor. If it's the opposite situation where the pad is stuck and not making contact to the rotor, then this would make the opposite pad do double the work when it's pushing into the braking surface. Uneven brake wear can be compared between two pads on one wheel or from the opposite side of the vehicle. Just make sure you're comparing the front brakes and the back brakes, not both together as they use different components and different braking forces. When the wheel is removed, you can turn the hub to determine if it's dragging. The hub shouldn't take much force to turn. If it does, then there's something causing the brakes to stick on and this can be caused by a variety of issues, which I'll cover. Even if it's not dragging, there can still be an issue causing uneven brake pad wear. First is removing the caliper. Typically I like to use large interlocking pliers to push the pistons or piston back into the caliper to make it easier for disassembly. If you find the piston isn't pushing back, then either the slide pins are stuck or the piston is seized in the caliper. Sometimes it may not be a caliper issue and could possibly be a collapsed rubber flex line instead that is directly behind the caliper. In order to rule this out, crack the bleeder screw on the caliper and compress the piston while watching for fluid. If fluid does push out, your caliper is fine and the flex line will need to be replaced instead. After the caliper has been removed, then use large interlocking pliers and a brake pad to push the piston back. It should compress with a light amount of force. If not, then it's seized and you will need to rebuild or replace. If you have multiple piston calipers, again, one or multiple pistons can be seized and this too would need to be either replaced or rebuilt. Next to brake pads, these should move freely in the caliper carrier. It's common for rust to form between the carrier and any rattle clip locations. This will compress the area around the tanks and prevent the pads from moving freely. It's important to clean these areas well with a wire brush. If there is an extreme rust buildup, then a file can be used to clean up the surface. After that is applying a light layer of grease to the ears of the pads. Next is the slide pins. These two should move freely and allow the caliper to float. Be sure to inspect the boots for any breaks or holes where moisture could be let in, causing them to rust. These should be cleaned with brake cleaner to remove any old dirt or grease. Then have new grease applied and then install new boots if needed. Don't apply too much grease where it can cause a pressure lock, again not allowing the caliper to float and potentially leading to brake pad wear issues. New videos are released every week on my channel. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button, it's a huge help to me, and leave a comment below if you found this tutorial helpful. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to also hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching.